Can you guys hear me now? I thought you guys could hear me this whole time. Something was going on with my camera today. It was really weird. Um, I don't know what happened. I think you can hear me now. Um, let me know. Can you hear me? No, I didn't have it muted or anything. It was weird. No, it's not you. It's because something was going on with my camera when I started my um, program that I used to do the live streams. Something was going on with my camera. And so I was like, okay. So I unplugged the camera. I plugged it back in and it came on. And I didn't think of the audio because the audio comes from the camera's microphones. And I thought, I assumed that because the camera came on, that was fine. And so I started the live stream. And I was having issues with the live stream before that because of uh, YouTube issues. Um, but I didn't think, it was really weird. I don't know why all that, all the settings were like all messed up. Weird. Anyway, you guys are here. Sorry. That was really weird. Bizarre. Strange. I don't know what the hell was going on. So how's everybody doing this morning? We doing good? Sorry about that. I didn't know that my settings were going to disappear and get all screwy. That was really bizarre. Like really bizarre. I was not expecting that. That was just odd, odd, odd all the way around. Hi, Marion. Hi, Rinda. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Shell. You, you weren't feeling good the last live stream you were in, you were in of mine. You've really not been feeling well. Hi, Marion. How are you? I'm glad you're doing good, Shelly. Sherry, sorry. I have a tendency to, like, if I read somebody's name really fast, I read it wrong and I add letters that aren't there. <laughs> I do it all the time. I'll call Shell, Sherry, and then I'll call Sherry, Shelly. <laughs> like, I do that all the time. My eyes have trouble looking at the screen and, like, I wish the people's names were a little bit bigger. That would be easier for me to decipher. Or different colors. Well, hopefully you're going to start feeling better, Shell. So today I'm going to, did you guys see the pumpkins I made? I'm assuming you saw the pumpkins I made. Um, they're in the other room. I'll get them if you need me to, but I think you saw them. And so today I'm going to figure out how to get some of this fabric out of here because it's a big thing of fabric and I don't need that much. Um, let's see. <laughs> I hate when I have to unfold all my fabric. It's frustrating. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. I need... Here's a piece right here. Let's do this. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Well, it looks like I gotta undo the whole thing just to get a piece. Let me see. Let's go this way. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. So I'm gonna lob off a chunk of this fabric. Let's see. So give me a second. I'm gonna be off camera for a minute. Um, I'm off camera, but I can see the chat and talk to you. So we want that to be 10 inches. That is 10 inches. Perfect. Right? Perfect. Okay. Let me cut this sucker. I'm cutting. Luckily, there's a fold in the fabric that I can cut along that makes it easy. I'll be back in one second. 
almost done. Mm. Cutting fabric is a pain in the ass. They make a fabric cutter that's like a paper cutter, but it's for fabric, and I want it really bad. Because it looks like it would be something that's so perfect for me to be able to cut fabric evenly, because it's something I'm just incapable of doing. Okay, I've got fabric. And now I've also got, I'll let you see, can you see this? It's like a giant bed sheet now. It's all unraveled and I'm like drowning in it because that's what I had to do to get that piece of fabric off. I had to unravel the whole thing and now I'm just throwing it in a, well, I'm gonna throw it behind me for now. I ain't gonna worry about it, but when I'm done, I'll have to fold it back up. Annoying. And I may or may not even have enough to finish this pumpkin today. That's the only problem. Um, I may have to run to the store um, before the live stream. Or maybe, God forbid, I ask Chris to pick it up on his way home. But I need batting in order to make more pumpkins. Yes, her flipbook was amazing. Oh my goodness. It was crazy. Crazy. No wonder her ass took so long to make it. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've got 10 inches here. And we want 20 inches. So I'm going to go from here to here. I'm just kind of cutting it not very well but well enough okay so this is the piece we're working with today and in fact I don't need this anymore up here because it's just gonna get in the way and this little bent crooked piece that's fine because it's going to end up getting sewn anyway so who cares oh I'm glad you're here too little Emmy because you never get to come to live streams that's why I decided to do it because I was like well I'm up um, not due to go to bed for a few hours and I want to make a pumpkin but I want to do it different than the last time this time I want to paint the fabric and then sew the pumpkin together so I keep forgetting to make more gesso and ugh, my brain isn't working so um so we're going to gesso this fabric. Now the fabric's going to get a little stiff, but that's okay. I'll work with it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> this is all an experiment. My audio is terrible. Is it? Are you guys able to hear me okay? What's the matter with the audio? Be, be specific. Does anybody else think my audio is terrible? It might be you, <laughs> Gabrielle. You might need to refresh the page. So before you go bitching about the audio, try refreshing. And if it's still like that, then maybe... Yeah, everybody says it's fine. So yeah, try refreshing, Gabriel. It might be you. If there's a problem ever with anything, obviously, 
if more than one person is experiencing it, okay. But if it's only one person, then usually it's on their end and they need to refresh their page. Yeah, so I don't think there's a problem with my audio. I think there might be a problem on your end. I was going to say, I fixed my audio issues. <laughs> I had no audio earlier. But so far I have not had terrible audio when it was on. I mean... I need a little water in this. It's getting a little too thick. I need to make more. I do? I <laughs> Good, I'm glad I say your name right. I have to say it really slowly because it's kind of a tongue twister, but Lilemi, yeah, I, 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 uh, it's, it, I mean, looking at it, it doesn't really look like it's a hard word to say, Lilemi, it doesn't look hard to say. I don't know how to say your last name. Um, you're from Norway. I, I don't know how to say your last name. Is it, uh, oin? Un? Oin, un? Een? I don't, I have no clue. I don't know a zero, like an O with a slash through it. I have no idea how to pronounce that. <clears throat> Usually I'm good with last names, not so much first names. And in this case, I'm better with the first name than I am the last name. <laughs> Who's getting married? You're making paper roses for your wedding. Oh, you're getting married? When are you getting married? Congratulations. I used to do that stuff all the time for people's weddings. I would always do all the decorations and make the um make the uh the favors and Oh, it's not till next July? Oh, okay. Well, keep those paper roses in a safe place so that they don't get dusty between now and then. <laughs> keep them in plastic bags. Because paper is hard to dust. And keep them out of the sun, too, so that they don't fade. They'll be fine as long as you just keep them in a dark place, dry, and away from where they can get dusty. And they'll be good.
How long ago did you get engaged? All right, finally got that gesso. Jeez, that took only forever and a day. I really need to clean that out and put new gesso in it. So I don't know if you gathered what we're doing here today, but we are going to make a custom fabric and hopefully be able to turn it into a pumpkin. I'm hoping that it is not too stiff. I knew that was going to happen because the fabric was thin. Um, I'm hoping it's not too stiff that I'll be able to sew it and shape it into a pumpkin. If not, then guess what? It'll be a journal cover. But I think it'll be fine. <clears throat> Got engaged on December 23rd. Oh, that's awesome. I got engaged on December 24th back in 2001, I think it was. Yeah. That was, thankfully, I'm not married anymore. Well, technically I'm married to him, but oh, I'm having a domino effect. There we go. Clean that up a bit so that my desk isn't a disaster. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun for a minute. Oh, you've been together 10 years. That's nice. I was together, I think, eight years when we got engaged. Seven, eight years. Something like that. Hi, Tina. Your box is going out tomorrow, Tina. Sorry, I wouldn't have the car until tomorrow, unfortunately. Chris had stuff to do all week. I couldn't take his car during the week or anything, so I had to wait all this time. And last Saturday, I missed the damn post office um, because they stupidly, the one near me, like I had two post, office, two post offices, there's one that's right near me that's like the podunk post office. They're half the time never open and they completely change their hours all the time. And they're usually open until noon on Saturday. Well, they weren't and they weren't open till noon anymore. And I went up there at like, I guess it was like 1130. So I was like, okay, I'll shoot to the other one because I know they're open till noon. I get there and now they're op only open till 11. So it was after 11 and I was like, oh, forget it. That was frustrating. But I put some things in the box from what from our class. So you're going to get a, a, a surprise in the box, Tina. Because I never close up a box until, you know, I am literally in the car. Because just in case I have to rebox something or the post office says, oh, you know, you, you can do this or do that. I wait till I get up to the counter and then I bring the tape with me and then I tape it just in case they say there's a cheaper way to ship it if you use this and because yours is heavy it it, it may or may not be able to go in a uh, uh, either in a flat rate or a regular box depending on the price so I'm, I always wait and not I don't tape it up until like the last second and so this way I can also throw stuff in <laughs>
Yeah, we're making, um, I'm going to make fabric. I want to make like, um, I want to use like all autumn colors, but I want it to be a little, a little funky-ish, maybe a little boho-ish. Um, but I want it to be all reds, orange, yellow colors with a little gold and stuff in there. And then I'm going to turn this fabric into one of those pumpkins. No, it's okay. Hi, Katie. Good enough. Oh, I hate that. Just make yourself some up with some Elmer's glue and water. Okay, Katie, I won't say your name. <laughs> you are doing stuff. You're in here watching this. That's doing something. All right. So I'm going to start with my lightest colors. And we're just going to have a field day. Hanging together to mix them. Let's see. Let's get a brush. Actually, you know what? Let's use a credit card. secret what are you doing up woman are you sleepwalking are you sure you're awake are you eating ice cream mm. ew it's just dripping everywhere no dripping Goodness, messy, messy. This paint is like, God, it's got to be at least 10 or 15 years old. I love this color though, this mustardy yellow, like a golden marigoldy yellow. It's good for fall. Eating a, a, a sald? <laughs> Are you asleep? <laughs> yeah, I decided to go live because I wanted to make another pumpkin. And I decided, I was like sitting there 
and I got to, I was like, oh, I'm like, if I take fabric and paint it myself, will it, will it pumpkin? <laughs> Can I turn it into a pumpkin? <laughs> so I was like, hmm, maybe I should try it and find out and let's see what happens. Now we're going to take apricot. Just putting all the lighter colors down. Then we're going to layer some more colors. I just, I mean, it could turn really hard and, and make it so that it's not flexible enough and whatever if it does whatever but I want it to be kind of folly pretty and we're gonna just do it and whatever that's the motto for today what the hell ever no take backs some waffles you better be sharing those waffles waffles are some of my favorite foods look at this card oh my goodness I've never seen a credit card well it's a gift card split apart like that and it's paper inside I didn't know that okay well I've got more where that came from let me get them out oh I forgot I had these little tattoos don't know why they're in there Okay, I've got more actual credit cards. We can chuck that one in the trash. Apparently that ain't gonna work. Oh, I found my magnet paper. Didn't know where that was for a while. Okay. So these kind of cards won't do that. The gift cards might, because they're kind of cheap. Lay's kind of cheap. All right, now we're gonna go to some orange. It is a whatever thing. It's a whatever you want it to be thing. It's a, a whatever. It's a it's a who's a what's it? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Is it a screw it and do it kind of day for you? I think so. This is kind of a screw it and do it because I was just like, ah, screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> Except I'm not doing 10 minutes. I don't think this is probably going to take a bit longer than that. All right, let's go for some other oranges like these oranges. I don't think I want to use that coral color. I don't think that's my thing. Let's go with these oranges and see what kind of stuff we get. Okay, Gabrielle, if you say so. <laughs> it's anything I want it to be. It's whatever and everything. a good color. What did I just put on this one? I think I did. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll find out in a second. Is that different? No, nope, that's about the same. So it must have been that one. Let's try this one. I think that one's the same too. Kind of.
Yes, that's a good way to put it, Lil Emmy. A break from your own head. Exactly. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. We're going to save that one. We're going to save it. All right, I'm going to dry this a little bit just so that I can add some more color to it without it being all mishmashy. I'm going to use stamp, stencils and stamps, but um, I don't have a pumpkin one. If I had like a small pumpkin, oh, I might. It has to be small though, because putting this on the pumpkin, once I put the little um, um, uh, butt cracks in, the little cracks, in, the little, you know, the lines in the pumpkin, you're not going to be able to see any large pattern. So it has to be all small patterns. So if I had like a tiny pumpkin like stamp, it would show up. But I don't know if I do. I'm, I'll have to look. Hi, Irene. Linda. Okay. I'm gonna try to wipe this under here a little bit. Keep it a little dry. I disturbed that and it wasn't dry yet.
All right. Yeah, it's it's getting darker earlier here too, but unfortunately, it's been boiling hot out. So I wish that it would. Um, I think in this one, that's close to a wine color. I think. Got some reds to try. It's been hot here. Rouge flamenco. Oh, this is red flamenco, and so is this one. Is this one open? Yeah, which was that one. And I've got this one. Yeah, I know. Well, here it stays warm for into October. This, ew, ew. I don't know. This is an old paint. Sorry for the banging, but it's the only way I can mix it. Ugh. There we go. Let's see. I wonder if this will work. It's an old one. But it still works. It's kind of gross, but it still works. I like that color. It's a nice wine color, which is what I want. Secret, did you go back to bed? Or are you still here? Yeah. Tennessee gets cold and like it'll start to get like cold like towards the end of November it cools off you know in October it starts to cool off but it doesn't actually get cold until November ish ew ew I pulled out a big snot out of my paint <laughs> not paint. Yep, that's exactly it. It's not paint. It's this one. Indian red. I don't think I want that one. I think I'm going to... Oh, that's right. Where you are, it's, yeah, it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> I'm going to have to get myself some a new wine color. Because mine is like, not not really any, I mean it's okay, but I don't have much left and it's kind of like, it looks like curdled milk. It works, but it looks kind of like curdly milk. It's kind of gross. It works. I didn't realize that I didn't, I have every color under the sun of craft paint, but I didn't, apparently don't have very many wine colors. Hi, Cheyenne. My little poodle, he's doing good. Hi, anyone who's just come in. Hi, Amber Lee.
Why didn't it come out well, Linda? What's wrong with it? Hi, Abbott. How are you? You think it's too small? Some crystals for your witch journal. What do you mean, like you tried to watercolor them? Onto what? On like an ATC or like a, like a tag or just a piece of paper? I'm sure it'll be okay. If nothing else, yeah, just try it again. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I want to see if that was the mailman. All right, it was not the mailman, unfortunately. Uh, mine is 10. He turned 10 in March? No, yes, March. What's your poodle's name, Cheyenne? Is it a toy poodle, a standard poodle? All right, Katie, see you later. You'll be lurking in the background, I suppose. I was smart and I froze some of my moon cookies because I couldn't eat all of them. So I froze some of them so I'd have them. <laughs> Am I going to carve pumpkin? No. How the hell do you do that? No, but I am going to use the fabric to make a fabric pumpkin. Cheyenne, what's your poodle's name? What kind of po poodle is he or she? Are you kidding? Really? I didn't know that. Silly. She wants me to carve pumpkins out of my fabric. I'll carve pumpkin out of your ass. How's that? Oh, how cute. She can be Tigger's girlfriend. Is Roxy into older men because Tigger's 10? But he's handsome and he's well behaved.
I'll paint a jack-o'-lantern face right on your ass for you, Linda. <laughs> I'm eating a cookie. No, Taylor doesn't need Viagra. Well, he might. He doesn't have any balls. <laughs> he might need something. I don't know. I, I'm now looking back on it. I almost wish that I wouldn't have had him neutered. Um, because he's such a well-rounded dog. His temperament is amazing. He's extremely smart. And he's such a sweet, loving dog. That I really wish I might have, you know, maybe breeded him years ago. I don't, that's not possible now, obviously. But... It would have been awesome if I could have done that and gotten dogs like him because he he's just amazing. Yeah, Tigger's turning a little gray now. I didn't know, though, when he was younger, because I got him neutered, like, literally probably a, two months after I got him, because I always try to do it early so that they don't have issues, but I wish I would have known how amazing he was going to turn out. Well, he wouldn't have him now, but, I mean, if he had him for the first couple of years he was around, and... I breeded him for the first couple of years, he would be pretty amazing. Something like that. I think like the first two years of a dog's life is not counted and then you do the next. So it would actually be eight times, what is it, eight times seven or something. And you don't count like the first two years or something when you're doing that. When you do that, I don't know. Something like that. But for 10 years old, he sure does jump and hop and run around like he's still a puppy with his little toys in his mouth. All right, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun a little bit more, and then I'm going to add a little bit more color and be done with it. Or done with that part of it anyway. I'm making a pumpkin. Goodness gracious woman. Yeah, you apparently didn't see my pumpkins. Hold on, let me go get my pumpkins and I'll show you what they look like.
there's this little pumpkin. And there's this pumpkin. This one's made out of denim and lace. But this one, I'm going to make one this size out of this fabric. I'm going to paint it, mix media, and then sew it. And then I'm going to make another one of these. Except, obviously, with different, this fabric. And I thought it would be kind of cool to have like a mixed media pumpkin. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Oh, I wanted to use more paint. A little more yellow. Well, kind of this mustardy yellow. So we lost a lot of it in the background there. A little bit more. Got a couple of holes to fill into. Oh, yeah, it's fabric, if you did not know. It is fabric. It is a piece of muslin that I gessoed, and I'm just in the process of painting it now. little crack. muslin um you can't tell because it's got paint on the back of it i don't know how else to explain it it's this stuff it's kind of like a linen-y type of fabric let's see if it'll focus it's like this it's called muslin i don't know if you call it that where you're from but we call it muslin Oh no, I didn't see it, Cheyenne. Let me see. Where did you put, type it at? I 
I didn't see where you typed it. In the chat you typed it? You might have to type it again. Hi, Bella nailed it. What's up, girl? And Jewel and anybody else that's come in, hello. Where did you write the idea, Cheyenne? Because I don't see it on the chat. Tigger has costumes. I'm not going to be making anything for him because of the fact that I've got too many other things going on. He's got a lion costume. He's got several costumes, actually, but most of them are packed up. But the only one that's not, I think, is the lion costume. Yeah, muslin is cheap. It's pretty cheap. No, muslin. Not muslin. <laughs> I don't think it's, well, I mean, I think it's made out of cotton, but there's, it's like a different, right? Muslim's made out of cotton, isn't it? Yeah, you can use any type of fabric. Any cotton will work. It doesn't have to be any specific. You, here, let me see what, I, what this is. Ugh, put it on here. Medium weight muslin is used to make patterns and templates for apparel, upholstery, and many other jobs. It is affordable fabric that is available in generous width to accommodate project sizes. So it doesn't say what it is, but that's what it's used for mostly. But um, yeah, you can use you can use anything to paint on, anything. Um, denim, anything. I like painting on denim most of the time, but I have muslin and muslin is nice. I wanted something thin. I didn't want anything thick. I wanted to make sure it was going to be thin so that I could sew it and it'll keep, it'll be able to be still bunched up even though I painted it. Whereas if I use uh, denim and stuff, it gets a little bit stiffer. So this way it'll stay a little soft. I don't know. So, I guess I should get a stencil. Let me go grab a stencil. back my back hates me for doing things like that so okay I've got a few different stencils um, just to put some random stuff on I'm going to start with that one alright back let's see we're gonna use I'm gonna use some copper. And I need some spongies. I need some spongies. Black. No, I'm not going to do a lot of black. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of black, but I'll wait towards the end for that. 
I want to do keep it fall colors. I am going to do another one. If this works out, I plan on doing another painted one that's kind of got like a, that's going to be like a lot more black and creepy. Whoops, don't move. I'm not done with you yet. Move this over here a second so I can clean this off. Okay, clean that. Oh, let's not bust it, shall we? Linda can it. <laughs> I'll clean as long as I need to. <laughs> am I happy with the results of the cleaning? Yes, I am actually. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Oh, you mean Becky? <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. I thought you were telling me that I was cleaning that stencil forever being a smart ass. <laughs> Fine, dumbass. Calls me a dumbass. I'll call you a dumbass. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I want to do the flowers in this berry wine color that looks like. <laughs> I'm telling on you, you're mean. <laughs> Why does this stuff like look like curdled? It's gross. It looks like curdled cheese, but it still works. So. Mm, you know how it is. If it still works, you use it. I'm not in any position to be throwing away paint.
gonna clean a stencil. Don't don't get too excited. Yeah, I, w I sometimes do that too, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't have any paper handy. Screw it! I usually would have taken it and put it onto a piece of paper and blotted it, but there's too much crap on my desk as it is. Alright, let's dry this a little bit. Yes, I'm alive. This paint might need is some water. It might be, I might need some water. I really like the color. I do like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's take this stencil. This one's hard to freaking clean. Let's see. Let's do this pattern. A little random pattern in gold. That's not the gold I want. I want this gold. That's the wet one that I just did. Let's dry it off. I forgot a spot when I put my foot up your ass, Linda. Actually, I won't forget a spot then. <laughs> She's teasing me relentlessly. Mean. So for those who are watching the recording, she's been giving me ish all day. Well, since we got on the stream. I could take it though. I don't mind it. Did it feel good? <laughs> I 
Was it good for you? Because it was good for me. We're going to clean another stencil. Are you ready? Can you handle it? I don't think you can. Well, first I'm going to clean my sponge. Squirt the water on my stencil. This is the, these two are the easiest to clean out of the four patterns on the stencil. They don't really lift up like the other ones do. Okay. Hi, Shirley. That noise you hear is not me farting. It's me rinsing out a little sponge in water. I'll let you know if I fart. Okay. This is looking good. This is it's about dry. I'm going to put a script stamp next on there. Hi, Claire. Oh. Is it is it putting you in time out, Linda? Because you're chatting too much? Here I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Tina a moderator. Cause I don't have any moderators other than Cheryl. And Secret was in here, but I think she went to bed finally. I'm good, Claire. I just um my sleep schedule is on a weird turn. Normally I get up I get up like, you know, four or, or like, you know, noonish, one o'clock, two o'clock, and now I'm going to bed at one o'clock, two o'clock. <laughs> my my schedule is always changing. It's all right. Here, Linda, I'll make you a moderator, so now you don't have to worry about getting flagged if you talk too much. I probably will regret that decision because she's probably gonna nonstop <laughs> give me give me crap nonstop. Here, well, here's what I'll do. I'll make Shell a moderator so that this way she can keep Linda in line. <laughs> Did 
Did it work? Yeah, there it is. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I have to find a script stamp. I know I have one somewhere in here in this mess. Oh, I do. Here we go. Right there. Look at that. Right there. Is that the one I want to use, though? I think so. Let me see what else I got. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have a lot of Halloween stamps. Um, sounds odd for somebody like me who loves Halloween to not have a lot of Halloween stamps, but... Sadly, I do not have any. Well, I have a couple. Um, just not many. Just not too many. Uh, what did I do with them? Let me see if there's any little ones. Oh, I don't know what I did with them. Holy moly. There's this one. It's too big. Well, there's a spider. I can use the spider. Oh, and I got a skull. Well, I don't really want to make this spooky, though. I kind of want to keep it cute. I don't want to make it spooky, necessarily. That's going to be reserved for another one. I want to keep this one kind of cutesy. Cutesy! Let's see. I need... Saison. And... Brown. Brown. Here it is. Ew. Okay. I want to do it in brown. Yes, the creepier the better, but I don't think for this one. This one's more of a more of a uh is there enough ink in here should be yeah okay this one's more of a just a fall kind of cutesy pumpkin Yeah, cutesy, not creepy. Not this one. brown a little better than the black with this particular pattern. No, it's not a practice pumpkin. My practice pumpkin was the other ones. Actually, I've made these before. This is the first time I've made these type of pumpkins. I've sold them at um, craft fairs before. I haven't made a lot of them. I think I made like five one year and sold them at the craft fair. Okay, that's good enough. Let me put my little thing back in there.
That didn't come out very nice. Oh well. All right. The Lord is coming to Canada. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll come help you, Shirley, if you come help me move it, move my, my crap into another house. I don't know if you guys can see the, the stamping I just did, but I'll hold it up. Just some like random script stamp. I don't even know what it says. But that works. Gives it a little something something. Now I've got some bubble wrap. Very unsatisfying because it's like all painty and doesn't want to cooperate. Let's do, let's do some, hmm. let's do some brownish, or maybe like this copper, co did I do this copper color, color? I might have, let me see what brown colors I have, Tigger quit. Is this brown? Oh, brown. Instead of black. I think black would be a little harsh for this. Nor Linda, I will in April. Why would she say? Oh, I don't know. You know me. I can't keep up after a while. I try. So you're going to come in April? That's a long way away. Tigger, quit! He sees the neighbors outside and he's over there growling by the door as if as if he, he would actually do anything about it anyway. Because as soon as he realized it's his Aunt Sheila, because he loves our neighbor, he'd be like all wagging his tail and wanting to get pet and everything. He just don't know what he's looking at because they're across the way. He just sees figures moving and he's like, because he can't really see through the, the, the window is kind of blocked with like a, one of those bamboo screens. So he can't see through it really well. He just sees people moving. So he doesn't even realize it's not, it's his Aunt Sheila, who he loves. What's your brilliant idea? What happened? You're very opinionated, Gabrielle. <laughs> I'm not making anything hard on myself. Okay, I think you need to go. You're just an asshole. <laughs> I mean, honestly, go away. Like the, Every time she opens her mouth, whoever that is, like she just has these like nasty opinions. I don't, don't understand it. It's like, go away. <laughs> Like, first when she came in, your sound is awful, and then, like, something else, and then she's, like, it, she barely says anything, and the only time she ever says anything is when she's criticizing. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell she's talking about. She clearly, I mean, I looked on her channel, because I had a feeling that she was just trolling, 
and I looked on her channel and uh, and she doesn't even have anything on her channel. I, I don't even think it's a real channel. You know who it probably is? It's probably somebody else that I've kicked out of the group, which some of you know of about that. It's probably that person being just coming in to be an ass. She's literally was in here like the whole time. And I think she, Stacy, that's a foot moment. What? Oh yeah, she totally did. But she'll probably come back under a different name and do it again. <laughs> Claire says troll in the dungeon. <laughs> that's so funny. Goodness gracious, people just like are such idiots. Let's see, I think I want to do like, the only other thing that I think I want to do is some lines. I don't necessarily want to do white. Maybe like white and this color together and we'll see what we get. And I want to make some like little lines. So let's see what happens if I mix a little white. And a little of this, which I really like this color, this Empire Gold. Nice color. I'll put it over here so that I can mix it separately and see what happens. Where's my brush? I need a brush. Not that one. Let's use this one. I want to make it lighter. Well, we're probably going to need all of that. little lighter there we go kind of like a light marigold color it's pretty Let me find my glue book because I'm gonna have to use up some of this leave my brush here anyway yeah it is sad but it's, it's also like it's just uncalled for unnecessary for somebody to be so nasty and come in here and just criticize and be a jerk Sometimes they need to learn the hard way. Or they probably don't ever learn. I don't want to put a lot of lines, just a few. Like that, and maybe one over here all that paint for nothing for just a couple lines that's okay i'll put it in my book where is my book oh there it is i do have my book i don't want to put a ton of those what's not nice katie Ticker. I don't know what they're doing next door, but I wish they'd quit.
Thanks, Denise. Hi, Scatter50. Okay, I'll lay that down. Make sure not to let it close on itself. Okay. I just never understood the person that would come into a live stream or anybody's video for that matter and just have nothing but criticism and nastiness to say like in my opinion and well a lot of people's opinion it's like why open your mouth just if you don't like it that much or if you don't enjoy it like go away no you don't need to make a comment you should just go away go somewhere else or whatever and none of these people anytime i ever get like a negative comment or something especially like where they're trying to tell me how to run my channel or what to do or how to do something i go and look at their channel they don't even have a channel and they're trying to tell me oh you should video it this way and you should do it this way and it's like they don't even have a channel so why are they even opening their mouth <laughs> some people just get off on going around and stirring up trouble and they really, really enjoy it or something. They get something out of it. Why are you laying on the floor laughing at yourself? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I'm just reading it now. Oh my god, one time I got up from the bed and fell to the floor because my left leg was... I've done that too! I've done that too, where you get up and you don't realize that your leg is completely asleep and you just go and put your weight on it and it just goes, buckles out from underneath of you and you're like, what? Yeah, that happened to me. <laughs> Except I wasn't laying on the floor laughing. I was actually crying in pain because I like hit hard. Oh, you're not, don't say you're not good enough, because that's not true. I, I, you know, I will say having a channel is not easy. It's not easy to have a channel, and I mean, especially if you're doing live streams, I think it's, if you do live streams only, I think that's a little easier. Uh, well, it's a lot easier, because you don't have to edit videos and all that, but if you're doing, like, videos, that's where it gets difficult. If I could just do live streams all the time, that would be great. But a lot of people don't like live streams. And some people don't like to sit through all the chatter and, and whatnot. And it's a lot more slow moving. So people don't like it. So I would lose a lot of subscribers if I just did live streams. And I don't want to do that. And I like doing videos anyway, too. Because videos, I can be a little... I can plan them out a little bit more and have have my thoughts together more on what to say and what to do which is nice and stop the video if i have an issue or something which i can't do on a live stream so there's there's pros and cons to both yeah that's true but nine times out of ten, these people that go around and it's not trolls, really. They're not being trolls. Trolls are like somebody that'll go on your channel and go, you're a bitch, and just make a stupid comment. And normally those are little kids. These are people that literally watch videos. They're not trolls, necessarily. They're not like a fake channel. They're actually a real person that go around and if they watch something and they don't like it, they will open their mouth and tell you how much they don't like it. And then, you know what I mean? But if they watch something they like, they'll say they like it. But if they watch something they hate, they'll tell you how you should do it better. Do you know what I mean? Instead of just moving on to another channel or, you know, not saying anything. 
So they're not people that are fake. These are people that are real and they think it's okay. They literally think it's okay to just open their mouth and say whatever they want about whatever. They think they're helping. <laughs> One time somebody said something nasty to me or something and I kind of, and I, by the time I saw the comment under one of my videos, like five people that, that subscribed to my channel jumped on them and like kind of gave them a little, you know, gave them crap for it. And they were getting all mad because they couldn't understand why people were like, that's not nice to say, don't say that. And they were like, well, I don't understand, blah, blah, blah. You know, like they literally were trying to defend themselves from saying something really ugly you know, about my video or about whatever I was making, whatever. And I, I thought it was remarkable how they actually were defending themselves and thought that it was okay that they were saying the things that they were saying. And these five people were just like, um, no, it's not okay. And then I finally came in and deleted the whole thing and blocked the person. But no, they really were that stupid to think that that was okay. Oh, I'm snarky. I, I'm snarky. I come right back at them if they say, like trolls, like if it's a little kid that's just saying, oh, you're a bitch, they're never going to come back and read your comment anyway, so I just block them. But if it's like somebody who's legit just coming in, who watches craft, cha you know, who's who, who, it's a real channel or a real name and they come in to just say, oh, that's, you know, I wouldn't have done that that way. That was ugly. You should have done that. Or you talk too much or your videos are too long. Like people like that, I'm really snarky with. <clears throat> trying to think if there's anything else I want to put on here. I don't think so. I kind of like it like this. I don't want to lose any more of what's on there by putting anything else. Yeah, and it's still, you know, it's not obviously as flexible as it was before, but it's still good enough where if I make a pumpkin out of it, it'll still... And if I do this a little bit, it'll probably keep it a little more softer, you know? Do that a few times, that'll help it. Yeah, well, the thumbs down people, they're like the passive aggressive ones. They're the ones that just go by and just thumbs down, you know, just for no reason. I could see if they really hated what I was doing, but I don't, you know, that's fine. If they really don't like it, that's fine. But usually they'll come in and it's like the thumbs down within a minute of my live stream. And it's like, okay, you know that that's deliberate. It's not, you know, because they actually hated what I was doing because I wasn't doing anything yet. Do you have a smartphone, Irene? Because smartphones have really good cameras. I used I used a smartphone for over a year when I started filming, and they my I still to this day I I'll sometimes use my I'll use my smartphone to record because the quality is actually really good. I mean, you can't, you know. Well, yeah, I guess you can't. You can live stream from your smartphone, too. I was going to say, you can't live stream. Yes, you can, actually. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. And what we'll do is we'll work on this one in the live stream tonight. Because I'm going to do it tonight at 10 hopefully at 10 o'clock, hopefully I get my ass up in time, I will, um, so we'll finish it, what I'll do is I'll sew it, I'm gonna sew it, actually I'll do it this way, before the live stream, I'll try to remember to sew this up the side here, so that then I can just, I'll probably have to cut this a little bit, trim it, but I'll sew it up the side, so then we'll be ready to do the other parts of it,
I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun play. I'm probably going to go to bed in the next half hour. Yeah, thumbs down. It doesn't matter though, because whether it's thumbs down or thumbs up, it all registers as the same. It's all a view, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter, honestly. They don't realize that they're actually helping my channel because it's actually a view. It's counted as a as a as interaction, so it doesn't matter. So whatever. <laughs> they're not doing any damage to my channel. Wake your foot up, Shirley. Get some work done. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I will see you guys later tonight, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. Have a good rest of your day. I'll play the theme song out for you. Bye! Poodle Pack out! Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.